Oh. oh, hey, Culture Drop. Thanks for popping in here. This video is about clearer expectations, and specifically when you have a problem with a leader, coworker, employee, et cetera, who like doesn't listen and often gets things wrong. If you've been here a long time or you haven't, something that you know about me is that I love space. Uh -huh. uh, so I wanna give a shout out to the Women in Leadership group at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Um, I love you, thank you so much for following my content. Uh, you're wonderful. And I'm doing a segment I'm bringing back that I love called Piece of cake, although I have pie. Chocolate peanut butter pie, to be exact. And the reason is because, here's a little tip, a little trick for you um, that makes this like an, a little easier hack uh, to deal with these situations. I'm gonna get to it, but I'm gonna have a bite of this first. Mm -hmm. Getting right into it, here's my advice. Scenario, you have a meeting between two people, colleagues, boss, leader, leader, employee, and talk about something, a project, something to happen, and then a week later, two weeks later, a month, two months later, you come back together and there's a discrepancy between what was said, what was understood, and what was done as the work. I think this is actually a really common thing that occurs, and here's the fix to that, so that you don't end up with a situation where it's like, my boss never listens to me, or they never remember anything, or I have this employee who always forgets or never remembers anything. At some point, if that happens one or two or three times, it's on you to do something different to address that, and here's how you can change that. Clearly expressed agreements. So, at the end of that conversation that you have with that employee, with that leader, with that coworker, the thing to do is to send an email immediately after to recap the meeting and what was talked about. This is really valuable because then you have a clearly expressed agreement of what's supposed to be done, where you say, here's what we talked about, these are the points, this is what you wanna see from me, or this is what was said, this is what either you're gonna go do, and here's the parameters, and here's all the information, or here's what I'm gonna do, here's everything. Does this look right? Does it sound good? Have I missed anything? Simple little hack will avoid a lot of miscommunication and things down the road and frustration where it's like, I said this thing, you heard this thing, and vice versa. That's it, that's the simple tip, and I just wanna leave you with one kind of thought. The purpose of doing this is not to catch people. You're not a spy, right? You be an adult, be a grown up. The purpose for doing this is to add clarity. If I know that somebody doesn't comprehend things or they don't listen or they miss things and they're not right, an attention to detail kind of thing where I say it one time and I expect that they heard it right and they do what I want, this is a correct for that. So after a conversation that I have, I just send a recap email. I'm not trying to catch somebody or get them in trouble or make them feel bad, right? The purpose of this is not to be like, mean and cruel and passive aggressive. It's literally to have some clarity because the ultimate goal is that when we come back together after I've done this work or you've done this work, it's done the way that I want. All the expectations are expressed and it's clearly understood. And if there's a discrepancy that we can go back to the email and be like, but we did talk about this thing. This is sort of like, here are the parameters and the clarity here. That's it, I don't have a lot else to say, but this will help clear up a lot of things uh, and that scenario from happening again and again and again because I think it's pretty common. Uh, all right, that's it, go be awesome. I'm gonna eat cake. <laughs> what brings more joy in life than like cake and or pie? Chocolate and peanut butter. Get out of my life. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content on here. You can also subscribe to the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails in your inbox every Tuesday morning. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put a lot of free content out about just being more awesome and building great teams.